everyone. Um, I am going to do my review of the Jackie Warner book, This Is Why You're Fat, today. Um, so this whole video will just be just be a review of her uh, of that particular book. And let me show you the cover um, like I did last time. Um, it's Jackie Warner, This Is Why You're Fat and How to Get Thin Forever. Eat more, cheat more, lose more, and keep the weight off. Now, this this book came out um, April of 2010. Um, you guys might know her from the um, the workout reality series, and then after that, she did uh, the intervention. So um, this came out like in April 2010, and I don't know if they just didn't have a really good marketing team or what happened, but I didn't know about it. And the only reason I found out about it because I actually use one of her videos called Workout One-on-One -on -one with Training with Jackie, and this came out in 2007, and I just really loved this, so I just went looking for other videos, and I found the book. So I went and got the book, which was about um, $13, $13.99 on Amazon um, is what I paid for it. Right now, it is only in hardback, um, so obviously when it comes out in paperback, it'll be a lot cheaper. Okay, so let me get right into it. Um, what she does, she breaks her um, her plan into down into three parts. Um, the first part is why this is why you're fat, um, where she explains why she thinks people are fat. Um, the second part is her eating plan. Third part is her exercise plan, and then the fourth part um, is how to stay what she calls hot and healthy. So let me. I'm going to bring this back over here. Um, so I can kind of focus on holding it, on, on paging through the book. Um, so I'm going to start out with the first part of the book, which is why you are fat, according to her, Jackie Warner. Um, first of all, what she brings in is the, your hormones are making you fat. So, um, she goes through, um, the hormones that are both making you fat and the ones, um, that are making you thin. Um, so basically, um, the hormones that she says, the good hormones that are making you thin, um, are the human growth hormone, which is the HGH, um, and then the testosterone, which is a muscle builder, and then progesterone. And she says those three are what are making you thin. You need to work on those and build those up. And then she suggests, obviously, ways to do that through her eating plan. Um, and then the ones, the hormones she says that are making you fat are basically insulin um, is the first one. Estrogen is another one. Um, uh, cortisol is one. And then leptin. So she talks about those are making you fat, but she brings in ways that you can help to regulate those hormones or balance them out. And of course, she brings in her diet plan, getting enough sleep. Um, you know, getting the right vitamins and minerals. So she goes into all that. So the second thing she says that's making you fat, so it's hormones. Second thing is sugar. Now for her, sugar is the, she even calls it the devil. She said that's the worst thing in your food. She doesn't care about the fat content, you know, other things about the food. She's like, sugar is really bad. And you gotta, you gotta take out the sugar. Um, she thinks this country has a sugar addiction, and that's one of the reasons why we are so fat. She recommends that all products that you eat have five grams or under in sugar. So it should never have more than five grams. For the entire meal, she recommends about nine grams at the most of sugar. And she's not obviously talking about the obvious sources of sugar, you know, cakes and cookies and ice cream and stuff like that. She's talking about things that we don't know that have sugar that you have to look at, like, you know, breads and um, oh, what else has a lot of sugar in it that we don't know. Maybe granola bars or, or protein bars or something that we think are good for us but really are just loaded down with a lot of sugar. Um, and she kind of brings out all the problems with sugar. Um, how it makes you fat, how you know, it can cause cancer, some cancers, um, how it gives you wrinkles, um, she says it makes you stupid. So she goes into all the, the issues with sugar. Um, and then the final thing that she says is making you fat, she talks about um, the three organs that make you fat or skinny. So, and of course, it's your liver, 
your thyroid, and your adrenal glands. So she, you know, walks you through that and shows you what you need to do to have healthy organs um, to help you burn fat and lose weight. So she goes into that. Um, and then the second part of the book um, is her diet plan. So now she's going to bring that in. She does, <clears throat> to start out, if you're new to dieting, to start out the diet plan, she calls what a two-week jump start. And so what she does is she has you add in fat-burning foods. So she doesn't have you, like, take away foods. She just has you add in foods, like add in eggs or add in oatmeal, um, add in vegetables. And so she's hoping by adding that stuff in, it'll crowd the bad stuff out. But that's just her two-week plan to get you started. So she recommends that. And then for her um, starting in her main um, meal plan, which she calls her 5-2 plan, um, after, this is after you've completed the two weeks. Um, and basically her diet plan is healthy foods, lean meats, you know, grains, fruits and vegetables, you know, low calorie dairy. I mean, just pretty traditional standard stuff. So that's no big deal. But what she does, she says you should have, uh, it's how she breaks it up in your day. And she offers, you know, full meal plans. And she says you should have at least four proteins per day spread throughout five meals. She wants you to have five meals, three regular meals, and then two snacks. And so she's actually, um, so four proteins, three vegetables, two fruits, two grains, and then I think just one or two fats um, that you have throughout the day. And so that's how she recommends. So basically the percentage it works out to, she, recommend, she recommends thirty that your diet be 30% protein, 20% fat, and then 50% carbs. That's how she breaks it down. Um, I also want to bring in the part that I really like about her diet plan. This is my favorite part. Um, she gives you two cheat meals on the weekends. So she wants you to be eat clean Monday through Friday or whatever your schedule is, but for five days. And then on Saturday and Sunday, you can have one cheat meal each day. And your cheat meal, you can eat anything you want. So there's no restrictions on that. However, she does restrict the cheat meal to 1,500 calories. So you can't be more than 1,500 calories. And then the other restriction is then for that entire day, so say on Saturday, that entire day, you can only have 3,000 calories. So there are restrictions, but it really, you know, allows you to, you know, go out and, and not have to worry about every single little calorie and um, even if you eat healthy, I mean, if you eat more of your healthy foods. So I really like the idea of the cheat days. I already do that um, because I can't be clean every single day. Um, so I, I just feel I, I really like having that um, those, those two cheat days in there. So that's really uh, <clears throat> A plus on that part of her diet plan. A um, couple things I don't, I'm not crazy about her food plan. Um, first thing... Um, is she recommends a lot of supplements. In fact, she recommends six supplements, which in my opinion, I think that's too much. Um, she recommends a multivitamin, which is fine. That, that makes sense. Um, but then she recommends an additional vitamin C. And I just kind of feel like I get plenty of vitamin C through my fruit. But she recommends more. Um, and and what, she, what she says about the supplements is they're going to help you build muscle and then burn fat faster. Um, omega-3 fatty acids, which I can see that too, but you can get that through your fish. Um, so those, and then something BCAAs and free-form amino acids, she recommends that supplement. She recommends creatine, and then CLA. So, um, I'm not using any supplements, and unless, you know, I start really plateauing and need something, I'm not going to try any of those. I mean, it really does add a, at an expense. Um, the other thing she recommends, too, um, apart from the supplement, is this whey um, protein, which is this powdered protein. So, um, I don't know if I'll try that. That adds another expense to it. Um, but she says it's a good source of protein and it absorbs faster than, say, regular protein, you know, with meat and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, the other thing I didn't like about her diet plan is that, um, she talks about how she used to be a vegan and she's not anymore. And she says the reason is, she says, um, research and my own personal experience support the fact that the body needs some lean meat for optimal performance and weight loss. 
but she doesn't say what is that research and she doesn't say what's her personal experience. I kind of think she just didn't want to deal with that. Um, and I think a lot of people that like her are vegetarians or vegans and it would have been nice to have a substitute for the lean meat that she recommends, you know, throughout. So if you are, you, you, you have to figure out your own substitution if you want to do her plan. Um, you know, what you can eat, whether it's soybean, chicken patties, or however you want to get your protein um, besides eating meat. Now, she does recommend that you always buy hormone-free, cruelty-free, and free-range foods. I mean, so she does recommend that, um, but she still thinks you should have meat in your diet. So those are a couple problems I have with her diet. 